Yeah, it is definitely Marshall time. So one of the big commitments I had this year was I wanted to switch back to playing real amps and get away from using the modelers. Now, there's nothing wrong with the modelers. I still love the Axe I still actually use it a lot for kind of rough recording, but I've really gotten back into using real amps and there are a couple amps I've always wanted. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sell some stuff and I'm gonna get these amps. And I got both of them. I'm gonna show you one of them right now. Have mercy. <laughs> This thing is heavy. So this is the 1959 100 watt super lead hand wired Marshall head of my dreams. <laughs> so I did get this from Sweetwater. They are sponsoring the video, but part of the reason why I pulled the trigger on this was because they actually had a demo model. Now, if you look there on the demo models, which is pretty much what I always get from Sweetwater, um, they're just like the ones that are on the floor and they're marked down. So it was considerably cheaper than getting a brand new one, but also, I mean, they had a price drop of almost $1,400. So a big shout out and thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring the video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is the time to get one of these if you've ever wanted one. They're still expensive, but you won't find them this cheap. Like this is a steal of a deal if you're asking me. And uh, check those links down below. And then while you're at it, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button, come back and hang out with us. Uh, it's a great free way to support the channel and uh, yo, let's get our marshal. <laughs> Alright, so here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to be running the marshal into the ox. Now, I don't have mics and cabs, so that just kind of is what it is. I still think it sounds great. Uh, any reverb you have, or reverb, however you pronounce it, is coming out of the aux. You know, this does not have an effects loop on it, so I'm just running everything into the front of it. And then, of course, an SD-1, which is probably my favorite, favorite thing to use with the Marshall, is a good old SD-1, man. It gets you that 80s tone. So, uh, anyways, let's get this out of the way first, because people are going to want to hear it without any reverb. Reverb. Here you go. <laughs> Also, if you want to see what the amp is set to or what it's like, um, I'll you know put a little B-roll up here for you. But I'm not going to mess with the dials at all. There's no reason to have a camera on the on the amp. I'm not messing with anything. I'm just leaving it as it is. You can see I've got it cranked, and this is where uh, you know the aux really comes in handy because I can I can just dime the thing if I want to. And uh, like I said, the amp is you know I have it jumped, so I've got that. Channel two, which is kind of like flubby, filling out the sound a little bit. It's still pretty bright. It's, you know, it's all, all those favorite, you know, 70s rock songs that we all like. I just love this this plate reverb that um, UA has built in. So there's the last part. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on each guitar. Let's hear the Strat and the Tele, and I'm just gonna warn you now, I'm leaving the reverb on. All right, Tele time. or these tellies. Finner just did such a good job on them. 
A tally neck pickup I like? Strat time. tone scale isn't that what strats are for uh, again you can totally get your your Hendrix on which obviously from that intro I was kind of landing on that in from the storm uh, inspired Hendrix the idea <laughs> So that was all not using any pedals at all. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the Les Paul. Maybe I won't use all three pedals. I think I'll just use an SD1, to be honest. I mean, I'll link this stuff down below. The Telt Boost is awesome. An incredible. My favorite boost pedal. Um, and then the GE7, which I think it just needs to be modded. But it does a really cool cool job of sculpting the tone a little bit more. Maybe this is like a future video with that one. But then this is just like your straight ahead, in your face, 80s tone. So why don't we do that and we'll save the other pedals maybe for another video down the down the road if you guys are interested in it. So let me get this thing hooked up. Um, I'll go back to the Les Paul and uh, let's rock and roll. You know, I was like, why would I get the Les Paul to do the 80s tone and not get an 80s guitar? <laughs> so we're gonna go Ibanez. These are stock pickups. And uh, here it is, just kind of like, again, no pedal. You, you can hear it's like almost there. You're like, all right, that's pretty good tone. Kick on the pedal. But without it. With it. So let's wrap this thing up here now, because I'm sure you're sick of hearing me blab, and you're definitely sick of hearing me noodle around and try to try to play guitar for you. But this is awesome. I think that, and obviously you saw the title of the video, this is something that could save or ruin Marshall. Going back to the roots of what we all really want from Marshall is, I think, what will save them. Now, the caveat there, is that how you say that? How do you pronounce it? Is that it needs to be good. It doesn't need to be good, it needs to be great. And I think that offering something like this, like a hand-wired amp, is killer from Marshall. Now, very expensive without, like I said, like the price, I, I, I happen to get it at the right time. <laughs> you know, price drop, all that kind of stuff. So I think if they keep doing stuff like this, it, it's gonna bring Marshall back. You know, I know Marshall is still the, the big dog here, but to a lot of us, we're just kind of like, eh, newer Marshalls, and eh, it's not so much my thing. Uh, there's been a few home runs, I feel like, and this is definitely one of them, but I think that they're headed down the right path. I just got done trying out uh, a good friend of mine, Brett Papa, has this really cool little 20 watt Marshall, which is laid out like a Plexi. Is it Studio 20, maybe? I can't remember what it's called, but it sounded phenomenal. I'm like, yes, this is Mar Marshall needs to do more of this stuff. I feel like it, it just feels like they're really listening to us about what we want. Obviously, this is a, a special amp hand wired it makes it considerably more expensive and i mean i got it whenever the price dropped and it was a demo model so there's all these you know different circumstances but overall it's just a fantastic amp and i hope marshall keeps doing stuff like this so if you guys want to check one of these out for yourself like i said they are marked down for some reason right now don't know why but jump on it like i did uh it's all linked down below for you and uh, i'll see you all later i've got another amp to show you it's sitting right over there uh, and that's going to be another very special video because I actually got to record the whole amp being built. So stay tuned for that one. I'll see you all later. Uh, let's end it bluesy 
80s style. Oh, as I kick the camera and I drop my guitar pick and I kick the SD-1 on and I dive bomb. <laughs> Later, guys.